watching my Encore series. These are videos and performances regarding myself and my teaching and tutorials going way back when, some as much as six years ago. Also, these are some of my more popular videos. Hope you enjoy it. This is the Encore series from Kurt Thompson and Trumpet Sizzle. Please watch. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. I'll see you in the next one. Three tips to help you get the pedal C on trumpet. And then pedal C downwards. Pedal, T, pedal C starts off tier two pedal tones. Many of you can't even get the pedal C to be even begin to get into the tier two range of pedal tones. Tier two range of pedal tones is the most difficult of all pedal tones. And they are also the pedal tones responsible for really increasing your power in your high range. Uh, they tend to have a real raspy, nasally trombone sound, and we do want to play them as loud as we can. So, all right, tip number one, we're going to cheat. <laughs> Sometimes cheating helps. So if Kurt Thompson, 16-week upper register course, is really the holy grail to a trumpet playing. Why isn't every brass player doing it? And the fact of the matter is, every brass player that has been taking my course has found it to be the holy grail for this guy, for any brass instrument. <laughs> If you're looking to increase your range, your endurance, and your all-around facility on the horn, I would, without reservation, recommend that you take Kurt Thompson's four-month high register course. So, if you can't play the low C, and then drop down an octave to the pedal C open, that's actually really, really loud, folks. That's probably about three Fs. I can back off a little bit. You can actually cheat and play one, two, and three for the pedal C. Now, what happens when you play one, two, and C? You'll notice that the quality of tone and timbre changes to that of tier one pedal tones. So, tier one pedal tones are medium, uh, medium and difficulty. So, they're not too easy. They're not too hard. They're kind of right in between. By adding one, two, and three, you now bump the pedal, the pedal C back up into tier one. It'll be a little bit easier for you, but at least you're still getting it. Now listen to the difference. We'll see. Now I'm going to cheat and play one, two, and three for the pedal. Sounds pretty, right? Compared to that's the real pedal tone. Okay, so first way to get it is to cheat and to use one, two, and three to get the pedal tone out. While you're doing that, you could, um, just for giggles, throw off the, the all three valves at once and see where you are at and trying to get a piece of that pedal C. Watch. Now I'm making that look really, really easy, folks. But what's going to happen is, as soon as you throw your fingers off, you're going to see where some of your deficits are, deficits are in your in your chops and what you need to work on, because that note might drop or it'll go up. Always remember this, the only reason you can never get any pedal tone is lack of embouchure strength. That includes your lips. Remember, pedal tones don't really exist on the horn um, acoustically. You're, we're actually manipulating things to get them to come out. So. Um, never come up with an excuse of why you can't play the pedal tones, the horn or the mouthpiece or whatever. Uh, it's always due to a lack of embouchure strength. If you can't go through all uh, four, at least four tiers of the pedal tones, all of them, it's due to a lack of strength here and also your lips. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, the second tip now to be able to help you reach that pedal C is uh, for many people, 
they describe the pedal C as a note that's not on the horn, that they can never get. It doesn't exist. It's just not there. It, remember, the reason, it, only reason it's not there is because you don't have enough strength here. That's simply the answer. So, okay, what can we do for um, our second tip to get into the pedal of uh, pedal C? Do the scoop method. A lot of times, um, intermediate and advanced players um, will try to get the pedal C to come out, but they'll come in around an A or B flat. It comes out something like this. And they're fighting, but that's actually a good a good way to fight it. You want to fight and, and sharpen and raise the pitch. Well, actually, I hit it pretty too close there. Let me go down under a little bit more. See how I did that? We're scooping into it. So that's tip number two, scoop. Okay, again, I'm making that look quite easy. You won't likely be able to do that right when you first try it. But listen, how did I get to do it? By practicing. I practiced until my, until my lips were falling off to get these pedal tones a long, long time ago. You gotta practice it. You increase the strength and you'll get it to come out. Um, the third way, now this is a little bit more of an advanced technique, so you should already be familiar with tongue arch. And so, tongue arch is what we use normally when we ascend and we want to get above the staff and keep going higher. We're also using it when we're doing our shakes and our, and our lip trolls, right? You can actually employ the tongue arch in the tier two pedal tone range because tier two pedal tones are almost a substitute or kissing cousin for practicing in the upper register. Okay, yeah, so the third way and tip for getting your first pedal C, or at least pushing that direction, is to use a tongue arch, as I already mentioned before. Um, you start off with the low C positioning, which is a drop jaw, a little bit wider aperture and your tongue's flat in your mouth like you're saying ah you got an egg in your mouth just a little bit of exaggeration <laughs> but instead of freezing and keeping that same um, position in your mouth you're going to bring your chin up you're going to arch your tongue up into a knee position as you go down to the pedal seat oh ye oh ye and so you're going to have, of course, when you put your tongue into the tongue arch position, you're going to have to actually blow harder because now your bloating gets more resistance. That resistance is the tongue in your mouth. You're going to blow harder. you got to blow more air. You actually, you're not going to blow more air. You're going to blow air. It's going to seem like you're blowing more air, but you're blowing against this resistance, and that actually speeds up the air. There we go. That's a little bit better description. But you'll feel like you're you're forcing, like you're blowing more um, when you put the tongue in that arch position. I have my tongue right um, curled up as much as I could, arched as much as I could to get that pedal seat out. I can still do it low. It's it's harder. It's less efficient. No arc, that's no tongue arc. That relies on, on lots of air and pure armature strength, so the tongue arch makes things more efficient down in the tier two pedal range. That was with tongue arch. So, to recap, the three tips and tricks and techniques you can use to get your first pedal C to come out and then keep continuing down in tier two pedal tones all the way to G flat, pedal G flat. What, what was the first one? What? You don't remember? Cheating! Cheating is number one. The second one is doing the what? I think someone got it. You know, it's like those Fritos. Ah, you got it. Scoops. You seen those Frito scoops? Yes. Scoop. Got to scoop the note. And then the third way is what we just finished up on is using the tongue arch. So these are the three ways that are going to push you in the right positive direction for getting your first pedal C on the horn.
Yes. Hi, I'm Kurt Thompson and welcome to my channel. That's youtube.com slash your brass instructor. Thanks for just watching the video that you did. Maybe it's the first one that you've watched or maybe you've watched tons of my videos. In fact, as of June 2016, as a brass player and trumpet player, I have the most tutorials free on the planet. I have over 600 videos on my YouTube channel currently, all free. So again, thanks again for watching this video. I hope that you got something out of it. Sometimes I make a video just to make you laugh. A lot of times I make a video to educate you on something and maybe even help solve a problem. So I hope something like that occurred for you in this video. And while you're at it, again, subscribe, click on my website link, and go on to the next video. It's lovely out here. Have a great day. This is the Encore series from Kurt Thompson and Trumpet Zizzle. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. I'll see you in the next one.